Hi there, when you first look at the Fairlight page in DaVinci Resolve it can feel a bit overwhelming, especially if you've never worked with audio software or door software before. Don't worry though, by the end of this video you'll be able to find your way around the Fairlight screen and it won't feel as intimidating. While you can do a lot of audio editing tasks on the edit page, the Fairlight page offers you so much more flexibility and power. So here we are on the edit page, we've got one video track with its associated audio, we've got a music track with this music here, and we've got two sound effects tracks here. Currently they don't have any clips or sound effects on it. Let's switch over to the Fairlight page by coming down here and clicking the Fairlight button. At the top here we've got our meters. You can turn these off and on by clicking the meters button here. The meters give us a visual indication of how loud individual tracks are and also how loud our video is overall. If I just play this back, you can see the volume level of tracks one and two as it's playing back here. You can see the volume level of this bus one. This is the overall output that will be encoded into the rendered video file. And we've got some other metering information here. For example, this TP value indicates the true peak or the highest level of the volume for the overall playback. I've got an entire video dedicated to setting your loudness levels for your overall video, so I'm not going to go into details here. I'll put a link to that video in the description. This section here shows us all of our audio tracks. Notice we don't see the actual video tracks here, just the audio. If you want to change the height of all of these audio tracks, just so you can see things a bit better, hold down shift and use the scroll wheel on your mouse, or you can use this slider here. You can also expand individual tracks if you're working with a specific track. And over on the right here, we've got the mixer. If you don't see all of your tracks, you can drag this mixer left and right. Each one of these channels represents an audio track. They're numbered numerically at the top here, but we've also got the names of the tracks here, voice, music, sound effects one, and sound effects two. Bus one is your main audio output for your entire video. There's loads of things you can do in this channel strip, including adding audio effects. For example, you could come down here and add some reverb. You can alter the dynamics by double clicking here to open up the compressor. This lets you control loud and quiet sections of the audio to level things out. We double click on the EQ button here. This opens up the EQ control. This allows you to shape the frequencies in the audio to get it sounding better. You can use this control to pan the audio to the left or the right to create stereo effects. You can adjust the volume for individual tracks. So for example, if we wanted to make the speaking or the vocals louder, we could do this. And if we wanted to make the music quieter, we could do this. And if we wanted to make the entire video louder or quieter, we could use the bus one slider here. These are the volume sliders. These are commonly known as fader controls or faders. These little icons here represent track clipping. If I make the volume really loud and play this back, you can see down here that these two buttons or these two indicators went red. That means that we've potentially overloaded the volume and we might get distortion or clipping, which you don't want. Learning how to use the Fairlight page to really elevate the quality of your audio will really set you apart from other video editors. Click the first link in this video description to learn more about my Fairlight course or just scan this QR code. Right, back to the video. If you want to turn the mix on and off, you can click this button here just to get a bit more space to see your waveforms. And if you want to see the audio properties for individual clips, just select them and come up and turn on the inspector here. You can see at the minute this clip's volume is set to 7.8 and if I lower this and raise it, you can see the waveform changing here. We'll just close the inspector and open up the mixer. The M button here, or here, allow you to mute a specific track. Muting the audio means you won't hear it during playback. So let's mute the music and play this back. Notice that we can only hear the talking and not the music. If you just want to focus on a single track rather than muting all the other ones, you can simply click the S button to solo that track. Now when I play this back, we only get tracks with the S button lit up. You can solo multiple tracks if you just want to listen to two, for example. And if you turn off all soloing and all muting, you'll get all tracks playing. There's loads of advanced Fairlight options and you can get access to these by coming up to the Fairlight menu at the top here. So for example, you can use the bus format menu to create your own custom buses. So now you've got an overview of the Fairlight page. In this next video, I'll show you how to start taking advantage of it and we'll learn how to set volume levels for individual clips. I'm Jason Roberts. Please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.